Hello, everybody. G'day. Very exciting day here. We have been invited by the lovely folk at Burley Brewing to come and try some beers. So good for us. We never get to see anything like this. Well, I have not seen this one before, so this smells straight away. Is this yes. new, did you say? Yeah. Yep. Burley Citrus. Burley Citrus. Okay. It's a different citrus, though, isn't it? Orange. This is much more of a mellow beer. I think the cerveza is a little bit more spicy. This will run uh, about 14,000 liters of beer an hour through it. For the home brewers at home, how much will run these machines cost? <laughs> okay, okay. It's significant a, it's a, it's investment. Significant. Here's our bottling line. It goes uh, 140-ish bottles a minute. This is our third bottling line. It's our second labeler. It's uh, we've we've gone through two canning lines. Chocolate. Coffee. Uh, I'm coffee definitely got the, the roasty coffee smell. See, I drink Delicious. my coffee black in the morning, yeah. and that that tastes like that. It's just well, fantastic. If you if you could predict the future, Brennan, do you think lagers are going to become sort of a mainstay again? You think people, or is it just a fad? I don't know because I've disagreed with almost every fad that's come through the craft brewing scene. <laughs> because I go, hey, tradition. Keep with what's traditional. These styles of beers have been around for hundreds of years. Yeah. So I guess lots of brewers go, well, we can't compete, so let's just make up some new ones. So then there's no competition. So we have a, a bubblegum fruit flavored, um, you know, corn chip sour. And <laughs> we're the best at it. <laughs> that Japan Black is a sensational, seriously great beer. We get 20 cakes an hour. Um, with one wow. and just with one person, they can just uh, load them on and then, yeah. then offload them down here. They're, and they just hook this onto the keg and then bring it down and set it onto the pallet, and so no one hurts their back or anything. This is our rotary can line for 375 mil cans, goes 100 cans a minute. Oh, wow, <laughs> okay, that's that's impressive. And we can keg, can, and bottle the three different beers at the same time, or we can keg, can, and bottle everything from one tank at the same time. When you brew a lager, where do the ingredients come from? All of the yeast is coming out of Germany, so we use all German lager yeast. All the hops for every single beer is out of Germany. We get it out of the Holotau region. That's a noble yeah. hop? Yeah. Okay. And then on this one, uh, the dark malts are coming out of uh, Germany. The main base malt is the, is the Australian pale barley that we get. Okay. Yep. And where does the Together water come last, from? I'd say. Well, we imported that from Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> in thimbles. Thank you again. Awesome. Pleasure.